Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you my method that I come up with uh, that looks pretty much solid of how much currency I, I can farm. Let's start with the Atlas tree. I'm focusing on reports drops. I'm focusing on uh, Delirium as well as final bosses to provide me with Elder Shaper maps, etc. We also making maps to contain implicit modifiers on them, which are pretty nice. And not in the last place, we have this particular talent that provides us with movement speed and max resistances. Now the whole thing is that we're going to run tier 16 maps with Sulfite, uh, which will be witnessed by Maven. And the whole point of the video is that I'm going to run those maps, hoping for Delirium. I'm going to clean the whole map if there is a Delirium. If not, I'm just going to rush the boss, kill the boss. Probably he's going to drop us some Shaper, Elder map, etc. Probably not, whatever happened. And also we are very much looking for the Sanctum. Now, the video is going to be long from the first room to the Sanctum to finishing the Sanctum run. Uh, this is going to be the journey and we're going to stash all of the items farm it in stash number 8. Let's see how much loot I can gather from the beginning of the Sanctum to the end of the Sanctum. As you can see, stuff dropping left and right, but I am completely ignoring them. We are looking for time, time saving. The more time we save, the better it's going to go. If I don't hear the sound of shroom or boom, <laughs> uh, I'm not looking. Alright, so I gathered the Lurium, which means that I need to full clear the map in order to gather as much as possible rewards. So let's start. Here we go, another good map with the Lurium implicit. And the boss is gonna go down any second now. Bye bye. Let's not forget the report. Good. Let's grab the Sanctum. And now the most importantly is that whenever I beat the bosses and bosses, the reward of this map is going to go very, very, very high if I don't die. God damn it. One down. Couple more to go. Here we go. That was the map. And let's see how much reward I'm gonna get from the fr I'm not angry. Holy macaroni, bros. Holy shit, guys. We just spent... Let's see how much time. <laughs> we just spent four minutes and I just exploded with currencies. 16 chaos orbs just from this map. This map doesn't contain Glorium, so we're just gonna rush the bosses. And also we're gonna find the Sanctum and that's it for this map. Alrighty, another map with Delirium. Let's make a full clear. Ooh, two Delirium Orbs. Is getting melted. And that was that was it from this dude. So right now I'm making easy money, guys. Like super easy money. If I'm not dying this stupid way. And by the way, my build is not very tanky, so every single death adds more time to completing the maps which is not very professional <laughs> uh, i'm just joking it is what it is professional or not here we go now let's finish the sanctum the first boss now what i'm doing with the rooms i just I just don't deal with them. If it's a room like this one that every single mob needs to be killed, yes, I'm killing them. 
But if it's not, I'm just keep on going. I don't care about chess. I don't care about coins that drops. I don't care about none of this. I'm just walking and everything is dying. <laughs> Simple as that. Oh, and something else. I'm very much focused on uh, divination cards, like stack decks. This is one of the things that I'm looking the most. In, in my case, I don't want to go here. So I'm just going to go for the more coins and whatever happens. Now, divination cards, but you're not... Now, I'm always... Like, if I can make my Sanctum run as easy as possible, I always do. So, which means that you're not always taken to the room that you select. Why did you want to do that, right? If you got Divine Orb and you want to get this Divine Orb and it puts you in some wrong room that doesn't have the reward for Divine Orb, what is the point even going to Sanctum, right? So such a, such a debuffs are completely unnecessary. Now I believe that this room I can just rush it to the end and I don't even need to do any of the mechanics. Yep, here we go. So in our case I have a merchant, but the merchant offer fewer choices. It's very bad. Coins found in this floor are doubled. Nope. Remove weakness guy random. Let's see about this one. Monster have increased life. Eh, it's not gonna go. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Uh, let's have 12 stack decks till the end of the run because I'm very confident that I'm gonna uh, finish it. Alright, it's time for the boss. This is gonna be very straightforward. Oh, 12 stack decks. Yes, yes, please. Let's go with the chaos orbs and eight blessing orbs. Perfect. Now, I have to go to the merchant sooner or later, right? And I think I'm gonna go to this one in particular. All right, the both bosses are down, nothing special happened, no interesting loot dropped from them. But from the Lurium, it's gonna be a different story. Holy shit, they're still going. Alright, Dominos, it's it's time to die again. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. We got the Chimera. <laughs> Let's see what loot I'm got, I got. 60 splinters. Jesus. Now, once the Maven Circle is completed... I'm gathering this, right? The inventation. And let's see how it's gonna go. Oh! I complete that! Jesus, I can't believe it. Come on, a little bit more. Please. Yes, I killed the boss. Jesus Christ, that was intense. Can those meteors stop firing, please? What the fuck is happening, bro? Alright, I have 1200 uh, dosh. I need to use them for something. And this something is going to be in this particular room. I think at least three upgrades it's possible to buy. Let's see what we got. Inspiration and monsters less life. Why not? The next time you uh, go below 20% resolve, heal for 50% resolve. This is all lost when you have inspiration. It's actually pretty decent, so I'm gonna go with that. Actually, I can go with all of them while I'm even reading them. And I don't save coins. Uh, that particular mo uh, that particular point with all of these upgrades. I don't care about any more bonuses. This is enough to finish the Sanctum. But it's not gonna matter too much. Okay, the first one down, the second one down. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And give me my stack decks. Perfect. Alright, let's finish the third boss. What do we got? As I said before, uh, stack decks is the priority.
all right interesting choice we want more divination cards or more buffs i believe that i gather uh, 50 percent less uh, merchant prices i believe or something like that or it was the opposite uh okay merchant prices are reduced by 50 percent most are dropped no all right so there, here we go i think i'm gonna go with uh two more buffs okay let's see what we got next from next purchase from the merchant it's free <laughs> that's funny uh recover 50 percent with maximum resolve entering and uh entering boss room nope increase effect of non-unique relics more coins all of it it's completely useless but better than afflictions right All right, that was from you. Bye bye. Let's see the next rooms. Merchants, no, thank you. Now this is oh, ho, 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 there we go, the divine orb. Oh, this one is gonna be juicy. Look at all of those reward type. <laughs> okay, I think I have enough. Let's go to the boss rooms, which is two bosses, <laughs> and let's get the money, bros. Let's get the cash. Yeah, that's what I like to see, baby. Hey, guys, half it's not even half an hour yet, and I don't have space for all the stuff that I've been farmed so far. It's absolutely crazy. I'm telling you right now. What do we got? Monsters deal 40% less damage. Let's take this one for sure. What did I got? Guards are recorded by guard. <laughs> that was freaking... Oh, bro. And the moment of truth. The final boss, ladies and gentlemen. Line of boss on the lines are 48 stack decks, 2 divine orbs, 14 chaos orbs it's just a lot of currencies okay so let's keep it together and finish flawlessly and smoothly the run first phase is over now ladies and gentlemen it's time for the second phase let's res reset my uncanny spiders and rock and roll right oh boy i'm nervous Holy shit, this is my first time actually dealing with this. Whew. Bros, my heart is beating very, very fast. And... Woo! Now, the funny part is that I have to cut out most of the stuff that I've been farming so far. So I'm able to pick up my rewards. Holy macaroni, that's a lot, a lot of divination cards. I don't have room for them. There's so many. The highlight of the day is the two divines, of course. A lot of chaos orbs. We got our Viz Beauty, which I have no clue what it is. Oh my god, this is gonna be a headache. Check all of this. 
what about this really <laughs> look at this one 44 percent chance to avoid being shocked what to tell you this is just for two hours let's try to estimate how much money i possess in this tab for those two hours Alrighty, let's start the calculations. Uh, now, the most easiest way, because I don't pay money, it's to check the economy. And let's start with the Delurium Orbs, right? Let's me check where were they. That's actually gonna take some time. <laughs> Bear with me, boys and girls. Plus 180. That makes 370 just from those uh, Delurium Orbs. Which means that I make a divine and a half. Now let's see the synchroactum. It's uh, 24 chaos orbs, so this is not a lot. Uh, the stack decks are two chaos orb each, so this is 200. Okay, so the, uh, the so the stack decks are also one divine. So we have two divines and a half just from the delirium orb and stack decks. That's crazy. Now the maps here are around 14 chaos orbs. Uh, this is 20, 20 chaos orb. This is another 50 chaos orbs over here. This was 20 chaos orbs. The only reason why I was re uh, keeping those maps is because they have interesting, um, interesting effects on them. We have a ton of jewelry over here, so. <laughs> Probably half of them gonna be sold, probably not. Oh, I forgot the resonator. It's a 13 chaos orbs. Orb of I'm, I'm making it's 23 chaos orbs. So now let me give you a final price without including the jewelry, because I don't want to go there. I don't think I, <laughs> I can do that. So ladies and gentlemen, all of this, it's five divines per two hours. All right, this is basically from the start of the Sanctum to the end of this, uh, the Sanctum. This is the whole loot. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Click the like button, subscribe button, notification bell so you don't miss any interactive videos like this one. And see you in the next video.